Oh, live look over downtown Spokane. Where am I looking? Oh, there, okay, Monroe Street Bridge. Took me a minute. It gets a little uh, icy on that bridge when the fog starts uh, developing in Spokane. As I drive home from work at night, it can become a challenge. Your forecast first for tonight, we have more of that. Fog, freezing fog, frost, 21 degrees for an overnight low with light winds. Tomorrow will be a day very much like today. That fog may linger a little bit longer. Some sunshine in the afternoon with a high temperature of 32. Our high today, 36, with the help of all that sunshine after a morning low of 30. No precipitation at the airport, 359 our sunset time. It's 30 right now in Spokane. Dew point at 26, winds out of the northeast at 7 miles per hour, 30 in Coeur d'Alene over a dew point of 25. Wildlife Wednesday time, and boy, this was the, one of the stars of last week, and we have another lucky photographer who has captured this snowy owl that has been hanging out in Lincoln County over the past uh, couple of weeks. And just look at the size of this owl, a rare find, a visitor from the Arctic, and this is from Courtney Litwin, uh, one of our favorite hummingbird photographers. So amazing shot, Courtney. Gorgeous, gorgeous, mountain goat from Mark Vote and Mark, who knows a thing or two, uh, wants to point out how thick this mountain goat's coat is. He, that goat may know something about the La Nina winter that has yet to kick in. And finally, a juvenile bald eagle from Holly Lynn Stockton. The juveniles do not have the white heads. They uh, say it takes almost five years for them to develop that white head. High pressure and control, that is not going to change over the next 24 hours. 36 hours, 48, 72. We can keep doing the math for a week and beyond. Uh, but minor variations will increase our inversion. Our air stagnation advisory continues through noon on Thursday for the area shaded in gray. This will likely be expanded not only in geographic scope, but uh, beyond Thursday at noon to be certain. Overnight lows tonight in the teens and 20s. Highs tomorrow in the 30s, your seven-day forecast. I kind of feel like I could bring a bunch of outfits to the station, record the forecast for several days, and just take off because <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you really don't uh, need a weatherman to know which way oh the wind boy. blows here. Uh, we are going to be foggy day after day. No sign of precipitation. That ridge of high pressure is not going anywhere. And our odds of seeing sunshine in the afternoon dim Aww. as this inversion and this high pressure ridge stick around. What, eventually, yeah. we're going to put a lid on that. All right. Well, we'll take a little vacation. <laughs> no, I'm not really, really not going to do no, that. I I'm just, just making a joke. Where would I go? <laughs> Here. Just like, you exactly. know. Exactly. Just like do your Christmas shopping at your desk. <laughs> oh, Thanks a lot, Chris.